This is Dr. Susan Thrall. This module discusses counting in Visual Basic. Counting is a process that often happens in computer programs. When you count, you are adding a successive digit to a number that you already have. So if we count by ones, one, two, three, four, we're taking one number and adding one to it. So I take one, add one to it, I end up with two. I take two, add one to it, I end up with three, and so on. We don't have to count by one. You could count by fives, five, 10, 15, take five, add five to it, I get 10, take 10, add five to it, I get 15, and so on. But usually people do count by ones. Now let's take a look at our commission calculator program and put a counter in it. We're going to count the number of commissions paid, or saying it a different way, we're going to count the number of salespeople we have. So right here I've added a label, and underneath it will be another label that's going to keep track of the number of commissions paid. Now, when do we do these counts? When do we do the adding? We're going to do it when we calculate the commission. We're actually calculating commission for a particular salesperson, and at that point we would want to count that commission as one. So looking at the code behind it, I have added a commission count as an integer, so I'm calling it commission count integer, and I declare it here, and then down or later in the procedure, I'm adding one to it. Now, this is one way to write it. So I'm saying commission count integer is what it was previously plus one more. So each time we go into this procedure, we're adding one to it. Now let's see how this works when we actually run it. There will be a problem, so expect that it will not work correctly. So here I'm going to add, say, my first salesperson sold $5,000 worth. I calculate the commission for that salesperson at $500. It's a 10% commission, and it's counted. One person. All right, clear that out. And I'm not clearing out my number of commissions paid. I want to keep track of that. And my next salesperson sells $7,000 worth of items. Calculate the commission. There is that salesperson's commission, 10% also. But what happened here? We didn't get number two. All right, we haven't done something correct. So let's go back and analyze it. So I'm going to exit out, stop the run of the program. All right, if you recall, each variable declared in a procedure local to that procedure. So each time you go into this procedure, the variables are set back at zero, an initial value of zero. So each time we click the Calculate Commission button, the counter that's counting this commission, or the number of commissions that we're paying, is set back to zero. So this is certainly not correct. We want to keep adding to it, not set it back to zero each time. So we're going to take out this declaration and just edit it out. Where do we put it so that this value is kept? It's added to, but it's kept. Where you put it is at module level, up here on the form level. So I'm going to paste it there. And oftentimes, instead of saying dim, we will say private, and that is a discussion of another module. So this is declared at module level, our counter. That way we won't lose the value each time we go in and calculate the commission. We add to it when we do the calculation of the commission. There it is, added to it. But we declare it at form level or module level. Notice here where we're adding the commission plus one. This can also be written as commission count integer plus equals one. This is just a little bit more typing, but it may be more obvious to you. Now let's run our program. Our first salesperson sold $5,000. That person earned a $500 commission, count of one. Clear it for the next salesperson. Let's say the next person sold $7,000, count 
calculate the commission at $700 and notice now our count is at 2. It's not resetting back to 0. Let's just check it out with one more commission. So I'm going to clear this out. Uh, this person only sold $4,000 worth. Calculate the commission, only 5% commission. Number of commissions paid is 3. So when you have a counter, you declare the counter at form or module level, and you add to the counter in the particular procedure where you are doing the calculating of what you are counting. This is how you do a counter.